Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really tiny bee design, which was not designed by me, but someone was inspired by my bee to make this design. So this design was by KiwiBerry on Instagram. Um, I could pull up her account if I had my phone, but I don't. So I'll link her um, Instagram down in the description, but she decided to make a really tiny version of my bee design. Um, hers didn't have antennas. I added antennas, but I felt like... They needed antennas. <laughs> so here's the design. It is a really small bee. Um, let me see if I have a big bee so we can compare. I actually don't have a big bee done, but I'm working on some pride bees for my Etsy. Well, I might not list them after all, but it was an idea. Anyways, not important, but I have <laughs> the body of my big bee. So here is the big bee body in comparison to tiny bee, just to give you an idea. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have a regular bee laying around that's completed, but this is the body of the bee that's on my channel. And here's this tiny bee, so it is really small. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. Um, they're really quick and easy to make, so this tutorial is not going to be long. And yeah. Um, Difficulty-wise, I don't think they're that difficult. The only thing or reason they might be difficult is because they are very small, as you can tell. Sometimes smaller designs are harder, and it's just because they're small. That's pretty much it. But yeah, um, if you're used to looming slightly smaller, you should be fine for th with this design, so yeah. As usual, I've forgotten to do the band count, so you can check the description if you want to know how many bands this takes. My guess, though, is probably around, like, 40 bands. 30, somewhere in there. That's my guess. And yeah. So I think that is it. We will get started. Um, today I'm going to be using just regular bee colors. I'm going to be using yellow for my main bee. And then we'll use some black. And then some white for the wings. And then you're going to need two beads or bands. Whatever you want to do for the eyes. Just You need something for the eyes. And yeah, I think that is it. So we are going to get started. Um, of course you're going to need a hook. Today I'm going to be using my double-ended hook. Uh, no reason, I just really like this hook, but we only need one end, so you can just use a regular rainbow loom hook, crochet hook, whatever you have. And you're going to want something to mark your rows. Today I'm going to be using a C-clip, but you can use a stitch marker, uh, whatever you want. You just need something to mark your rows with. Um, you could even use a different colored band if you do not have a C-clip, even though I always wonder, like, how do you have rainbow loom bands and not have a C-clip or, like, an S-clip? Like... You have to have one, because, like, almost all bands come with, um, come with either one of those. And yeah, so let me just pick up some bands and then we'll get started. I was just thinking of that, though, because someone commented on my video a few days ago and they were like, I don't have a C-clip, what can I use to mark my rows? And I was like, how do you not have a C-clip? I always just wonder that. I told him to use a different colored band, but I was like... How does someone not have a C-clip? Because I just, I have so many. I don't understand how that's even possible. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways, so to start we're going to be doing a tripled cap band with five stitches in it. So we'll start by wrapping a band three times around our hooks. This is one, two, and then three. And then you're going to put five stitches into this cap band. So if you don't know how to do that, let me show you. But we're going to start by pulling a band through the whole cap band. Putting both ends back on our hook. And then we're going to push this back loop over the front loop. Like that. Now we're going to go back in through the whole cap band. So you're going to want to make sure you go through the whole thing. You're going to once again pull a band through just the cap band. So not this last loop. Put both ends back on your hook. Push the back loop over the front loop. And then push this loop from last time over as well. So that'll be two stitches. Um, we need to do three more and we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. So we're going to go back through the cat band. We're going to pull a band through just the cat band, so not this last loop. Both ends back on our hook. And then you push the back one over the front one. And then you push the loop from last time over as well. And we're just going to do that two more times. So we have five stitches in total. That's one. And then two. So now if we count around, we should have five loops. So we'll start by counting this loop on our hook. So we go one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. 
And instead of going back into the cap band, we're going to go in through this first loop here. We're going to pull a band just through the loop, so not through the last loop. So just through the loop we picked up. Both ends back on our hook, push the back one over the front one, and then you'll push this loop from last time over as well. And we're going to put a C-clip on this one. So this is just to mark where we start and end. Like that. So now for the next row we are going to increase every other and what that basically means is we are going to do a single stitch and then an increase and a single stitch and then an increase. So we're just alternating between doing a single stitch and an increase basically. And yeah. I don't know why I'm picking up so many bands. I don't even think we use this many yellow. Um, but yeah. I don't know why sometimes my camera goes a little bit dreamy still. I'm trying to figure it out. So this first stitch we did was a single stitch, so the next one's going to be an increase. And all an increase is, is you're going to go through, you're going to make one stitch, then you're going to go back in, do another stitch, oops, do another stitch, and that'll be an increase. So all an increase is, is you basically put two stitches in one loop. So we just did an increase, so the next one will just be a single stitch. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. So a single stitch. And then we'll do an increase again, so we put two stitches in the one loop. <laughs> this is not good, I keep letting go of the loops. Like that. And then the next loop will be a single stitch. And then we should be at the one with a C-clip on it, so we're just going to make a stitch on the one that has a C-clip on it. And then we're going to take the C-clip off of this loop and move it up onto the loop that is on our hook. Like that. So now if you count around, you should be at seven loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it should be looking something like this. So... That's pretty much it for that part. Now we are going to do three rows normal, just alternating between the B color and then black. Um, so we're going to start with black and then we'll do, well I can show you on the B. So we're just going to do a row of black, a row of yellow, and then a row of black. And then we pretty much just close them up. So we have to do three rows of single stitches and we're going to start with black. I'm trying not to be confusing because <laughs> this design is just so simple. I feel like we're going so fast, but I know it's just because there's not much to do. But I'm like, am I going fast? Probably not, it's just it's so tiny. But yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay, so I actually messed up because this one with a C clip on it should be a black band. So we're gonna undo the last stitch we did. And then we're just gonna redo it in black. But the only difference is because we are switching to black, we are gonna slip stitch. So we're gonna pull this band through everything on our hook. Oops through everything on our hook and then you're going to push the back one over the front one and our c-clip will go on this one so I just took the c-clip out so we can flip it in case you're confused what happened there but you probably saw so now we're just going to do single stitches all the way around in the color black so we're just going around with doing single stitches with black bands See, I feel like I'm going so quick because we're already almost back at the C-clip, but I think it's just because it's so tiny. Okay, oops. Dropped him. So once you get to the one that has the C-clip on it, we're going to switch back to yellow. So you're going to go through the loop that has the C-clip on it. You're going to pull the yellow band through everything on our hook, and we only do this when we switch colors because we're slip stitching, so... You pull the yellow band through everything on your hook, then push the back one over the front one, and our C-clip's going to go on this one. So if you count around, you should still be at seven loops, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're just going to do the same thing, but with yellow, so we're just going to do a row around in yellow, because we're doing three rows of just single stitches. So we're just going to go around in yellow. Yellow. 
you know, I just realized I forgot to say in the intro, but uh, thank you Kiwi Berry so much for letting me make a tutorial for this. I don't know if she'll watch it, but I just realized in the intro, I was like, yeah, it's her design, and then I moved on. I'm so sorry. It's because I've just, I'm still a little bit frazzled with the new camera. Um, this is the second tutorial I'm filming with it. And I feel like this one, I have a better hang of it. But it was just so frustrating when I uploaded the mini duck tutorial, because that's the one that was before this one. Because uh, it, I don't know what happened with YouTube, but it ruined the quality. So I've been doing research on how to fix it. So hopefully this one looks even better than the last one. We can only hope though. So hopefully it's fine. Okay, but once you get to the C clip, we're going to be switching back to black. So you're going to want to get some black bands. And then we're just going to pull the band through everything on our hook because we're switching colors. Push the back one over the front one and then move the C clip onto this band that. And once again, if we count around, we should still be at seven loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to do our last row of single stitches and it's going to be in black. So we're just going to go around doing single stitches in black. But yeah. It's just, it's been interesting. I was so frustrated with the duck tutorial because I got this new camera. And I was like, oh, it's going to look so amazing. My tutorials are finally going to be better quality. Only to find out this morning that apparently YouTube, um, they prioritize bigger creators. So they get the better video quality. And any of us who are like smaller, um, we don't get the better upload quality. So that explains life. Um, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Like, because there's a way to like fix it so your file uploads right. I don't know, I was doing research this morning. It's incredibly boring, so you guys don't care, but hopefully I can fix my video quality. Yeah, but now I feel bad for not saying thank you to Kiwi very more at the start because... Uh, oops. Yeah, just... yeah. <laughs> Anyways, once we get to the C-clip, once again we're gonna... we're gonna flip back to yellow, so we're just gonna slip stitch to yellow. Oops, that's not what you're supposed to do. Don't pull out your hook like I just did. Everything's coming undone. <laughs> there we go. But you're just gonna pull a yellow band through everything on your hook. Oh my god. I keep going too far. I keep going past where I should. So you're just gonna pull through everything on your hook and then back on over the front one. Move our C-clip up. And now if you count around you should still be at seven loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always start by counting the one on your hook. And your bee should be looking something like this. So now we're going to stuff him because it gets really tight from here. So you're just going to want to get... Ooh, there's a hair. Um, you're just going to want to get whatever you want to stuff your bee. I'm going to be using a cotton ball. Where the heck are these hairs coming from? I apparently shed everywhere. That's so gross. Um, but yeah, so... I always just tear up some cotton ball and then I'm just going to stuff him. You can take your hook out to stuff. Just don't pull on it too much. The C-clip should hold it. And then just shove some stuffing in. It's so hard to stuff this guy because he's so small, but he does need a little bit of stuffing. You can use your hook to push the stuffing in. Usually that helps. Yes. And don't overstuff him because he doesn't need a lot of stuffing. And it might be easier over stuff. But he does need a little bit of stuffing. I'm sorry, I'm stuffing off camera. Oops. Like that. So once you have your bee stuffed, you're just going to put your hook back in. And now we're going to decrease every other. So we're going to do a single stitch and then a decrease, a single stitch and then decrease until we get to the C-clip. So this is our single stitch, so the next one's going to be a decrease. And all a decrease is, is you're going to grab the inside part of one loop and the back part of the next loop and just make a stitch. And that's a decrease. So the next one's going to be a single stitch because we're decreasing every other, so we're alternating. So this one will be a single stitch. And then the next one's going to be a decrease, so once again we'll grab the inside part of one loop back part of the next loop, make a stitch, and then this one will be a single stitch, and then you should be at the one with the c-clip on it, so we're just going to do a single stitch on the one that has a c-clip on it, 
and you can move it up but I'm just gonna take it out and at this point you should be at five loops so one two three four five and now we're just gonna decrease everything until it's closed so every single stitch we do is going to be a decrease And then once you have the very last decrease up on your hook, you're just going to pull a band through everything on your hook and then push the back one over the front one and pull tight. And then we will just hide this tail into our B. So we just pull it in. The butt is always... You have to squish it sometimes after you put the tail in because to me it looks a little weird until you like squish it a bit. You just have to hide the tail. I always hide the tails off camera. It's so hard to do on camera. And you just kind of have to squish them a little bit usually just so that way the stuffing moves into all the right places. And then that's it. So we have the body of our bee. So now we need to do the eyes, the antennas, and the wings. So we're going to start with the antennas. So you're going to want two colors that are in the color of the bee or whatever color you want these guys to be. And you're just going to wrap one four times around your hook. So one, two, three, and then four. And then you're going to take a black band. You're going to pull it through everything on your hook. Put both ends back on your hook, and then you're just going to push the back one over the front one and pull kind of tight. Like that. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to get our B, and usually you can kind of tell that there's a bottom part to your B from where we slip stitched. So just pick whichever part you think looks nicest to be the top of your B. I'm going to go right here. And then we're going to go through one of these stitches in like the front area. So about right here, we're going to get this, we're going to pull it through, and then we're kind of going to put both ends back on our hook. So we're just going to kind of go like this, and then you're going to push this back one over the front one, so over that whole, that whole bit, and then you're going to kind of pull. And that is how I did the antennas. <laughs> Always looks a little crazy. Ah, my camera's falling, of course it is. Sorry. Like that. And then he has one antenna. It looks a little funky, but if it looks funky, you might just need to loosen the stitches a little bit. I just don't loosen them at the start because, yeah. But if you need to loosen them, you just pull on this band right here, and it'll loosen this part. And if you pull on this part right here, it'll loosen the other part if your antenna is a little too tight. Okay. So now we just need to do that again so he has two. So if you're confused, I'll show you again. So we're going to wrap a band four times around our hook. So it's two, three, four. Then you take a black band. You pull it through everything on your hook. You put both ends back on. You push the back one over the front one and pull it kind of, sort of tight. And then we're going to come next to where the in other antenna is. So we're going to come right here. You're going to pull this band through. You're going to put the other side of this on your hook. So it should be like this. Okay, like this. And then you're going to push this back one over this, this one. So you're just going to grab it and push it over. It might be a little hard to do, but you'll just push it over. And then you're just going to give it a little pull. And there we go. Antennas. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is the wings. So get your white. And I think my camera's about to time out. So that's lovely. <laughs> Hold up. Let me just redo the thing so it doesn't time out. Okay. There we go. So like I said, now we're going to do the wings, so you want to get whatever color you want your wings to be. I'm using white again. And we're going to come, hmm, let's see where I came last time. Uh, okay, we're going to come right here. And let me, I should have double checked what I know to make sure I know how to do the wings before I started doing the wings, but I'm just going to check right now. Okay, I know what to do. 
Okay. So we're going to come right here. Uh, should I put the wings here or should I put them back here? It's always so hard to decide where to put the wings. Uh, hmm. I'll put it right here. So I'm going to come right here. So just come wherever you want the wing. And you're going to do two stitches in the same bit. So the place you went in. You're going to want to do pretty much two stitches in the same spot. Like that. Then we're going to turn because we're facing this way. So we're going to turn so we face this way. That's all we did. Facing like this. Turn so we face like this. We're going to do one stitch in this loop right here. So just do a stitch in that loop. Like that. And then we're going to come down to the spot where we stitched in at the start, so the same spot that these two loops are in. And we're just going to get a white band, pull it through everything on our hook. And then you just push the back one over the front one and pull tight. And that is how you make a wing. And then you'll just hide your tail in. There you go. There's one wing. And it might look like a little weird, but it's, it's how I do the wings. So now we're going to want to do the other wing. So we have one wing right there, so I'm just going to come right here and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put two stitches in this spot. So one and then two like that. Then we're going to turn, so we're facing this way, we're going to turn so we face this way. We're going to do a stitch in this loop at the top. And then, once we did a stitch in the loop at the top, we're going to come into the same spot where we stitched it in at the start, so... The very bottom here. We'll pull a band through everything on our hook. Push the back one over the front one, and pull tight. And then we just hide our tail. Hoping his wings aren't too close together. <laughs> we just hide our tail. I'm just hiding my tail because it's awful to hide tails on camera. <laughs> okay. And that is pretty much it. So now we just have to attach the eyes, and these antennas, if they look a little weird, just pull on them. If the wings look a little weird, if you just squish them, usually they fix. But the very last thing we need to do is the eyes. So you're going to want to get your beads or whatever you have for your eyes. I have beads, so we have my beads, and then two bands, and a piece of string. Um, I use dental floss. I had some people asking me because they were having trouble to put the beads on the bands and dental floss works best because it doesn't fray a lot so you're just going to get your string you're going to put your band or your not your band your bead on the string like that you're going to get your band put it on the string as well then we're going to fold over and go back through the bead And once you go back to the bead, you should be able to just pull the bead onto the band. So we'll do that again for the other bead. So we'll put our bead onto the string. I'm sorry if I'm not threading them through on camera. It's so hard to see. Oh my god, sorry. It's being a little bit difficult. I'm threading it off camera. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now you put your band on the string as well. Then you're going to fold over and go back through the bead. And then you just slide your bead onto the band. 
So if you don't have beads, you could just wrap a band four times around your hook and then pull a band through and it'll work about the same. Um, because of how tiny this guy is, I would actually probably wrap the band five times around your hook just so it's a little tighter. But that's an alternative. So I'm going to put an eye right here. I don't know if my voice did a weird crack there. How weird. And we're just going to tie him in. And I usually won't tuck the tails in until I like where the eyes are. Because sometimes they come out crooked. I don't know why. But it has happened before. <laughs> so I'll just tie them both in. Oh my gosh. Come on. Then I'll look at my B. And if I like where his eyes are, I just tuck the tails in. And then we're done. So this bee comes together pretty quickly. Because um, of how small he is. I'm thinking of make the, making some of these and then sending them as extras with my Etsy orders. I'll let you guys know if I decide to do that. Just because they're so tiny. And they're so cute. Um, but yeah. Oof. Ta -da. So, I hope your bee turned out okay. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. As you can tell, the bee is done. Thank you so much again to KiwiBerry for letting me make a tutorial. I know I forgot to say that at the start, but I really do appreciate you letting me make a tutorial for this. I absolutely love that you came up with this tiny bee idea, even if I changed it up a little bit, which I think I did. It's kind of like both of our designs now, which is weird to think about. But yeah, anyways, thank you again so much to KiwiBerry. You should definitely check her out. She hasn't posted in a while, but she has a lot of cool stuff on her account, so you should check her out. I also believe she has a YouTube channel where she has how to make a cat design, so you can check that out as well. But that is it for this tutorial, so I hope your bees turned out okay. If you make a tiny bee, definitely show it to me. I would love to see how your bees turn out. I always like seeing when you guys make my things. So if you make a bee, show it to me. Please, I love seeing him. Um, what else do I have to say? As always, my Instagram and Etsy are all in the description. Uh, I did do a little bit of an Etsy update, at least with cows. Um, I made some pride cows, so this is supposed to be the buy flag, and then this is the pan flag. And I have a bunch of different flags, as well as just some rainbow ones. E even though it doesn't have to be a pride cow, if you just like the colors, you can buy the cow. But I made some cows, and they're on my Etsy. And yeah, so I think that's it for this tutorial. I would recommend subscribing to the channel so you can see more of my designs, but also because I have something exciting coming that I do every summer. So it's exciting and it's going to be happening in the next couple weeks and you'll see it on my channel. So if you're subscribed, you'll know about that. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. Thank you so much for... What was I going with that? Oi, my brain's a little bit everywhere today. But yeah, thanks for watching, I guess, and I will see you in my next tutorial. And yeah, bye.